this video will illustrate the steps required to access and shape the root canals of a handheld mandibular canine. We will begin by taking radiographs of the tooth in order to determine the shapes and dimensions of the pulp chamber and canal. Now, with a better understanding of this particular tooth structure, we will unroof the pulp chamber by cutting an oval access on the tooth's lingual surface with a number two endo-access round burr. The physical dropping of the burr into the chamber will be tactilely felt. The access preparation is further refined. Walls are checked for smoothness and to ensure that no undercuts are present in the design. Next, working length will be determined, but the files used in this project are too short to reach the minor apical constrictor. Therefore, we will carefully reduce the cusp until the size 15 scouting file can reach the apex. Working length radiographs are then obtained. and file working length is measured. We will now shape the canal by using hand files and a rotary hand piece in the standard crown down technique. Be sure to irrigate the canal with soapy water or another lubricant to adequately remove all dentinal debris. Check the diameter of the canal with hand files. The goal of this exercise is to place a size 45 master apical file to working length. A master apical file size of 45 is the desired diameter for an endodontically treated mandibular canine at the University of Tennessee. Continue shaping until a size 45 file fits to working length. Remember to continuously flush debris from the tooth. Take radiographs of the master apical file at working length and measure to confirm. Finally, a size 45 master cone is placed in the root canal along with sealer.
A master cone radiograph is obtained prior to the placement of accessory cones and the final obturation, which will not be illustrated in a future video.